My name is Roseanne Stoya, and I'm a Boston Marathon survivor. As I have in the past, I attended the Red Sox game early that morning with one of my girlfriends. We walked over to Boylston Street to get to see one of our friends run down to the finish line. We ended up um, going into form. We went in, got ourselves a drink, and we went outside. I'd say about 10 minutes after that, uh, the first explosion went off down the street. So I turned and ran, and I coincidentally ran into the second bomb. Literally, it exploded at my feet. My name is Roseanne Stoya, and I'm a Boston Marathon survivor. I was injured, and I am now in an amputee on the right leg above the knee. Patriots Day, or otherwise known as Marathon Monday, has always been my favorite day in the city of Boston. Um, I've been spending it with family or friends since I was little, and I've always looked forward to it every, every, every year. Right after the bomb went off, um, a college student, Shore Salter, picked me up and carried me into the street, telling me that we had to get out of there, thinking that there was something else that could or may happen. From there, a Boston police officer, Shana Catone, came over and held my hand and kept me calm and kind of talked to me as I was breathing through the pain and the emotions of what was going on. Shortly thereafter, um, a firefighter, Mike Materia, actually assisted putting me into the back of a prisoner transport vehicle and um, stayed with me as they brought me to Mass General Hospital. There was definitely a strong bond that was built between um, the four of us and including my doctor. Um, it's just been an amazing experience and we just keep in touch. We do different activities together. I actually even feel um, a lot safer when they're all around. It's definitely not going to be my favorite day. It's something that I'm looking forward to getting through it and over it in order to fight my demons. It will definitely be difficult, um, but I look, I'm looking past that date and getting through it and hoping that someday I can regain the marathon as being my favorite day, and if not at least my favorite day, one that I will look forward to and, and maybe attend in the future. As I go through this journey of recovery with my amputation, I'm really excited and looking forward to the fact that it's a whole different chapter in my life. I would like to thank the Hoyts for attending this evening and donating their time to come and speak at this event. I'm truly bummed that I'm not uh, available to come and meet you personally. You've always been a true inspiration to me and um, every year I would see you at the marathon and, and just in total awe of everything that you've done throughout your lives. And I just wanted to say thank you. It means so much that you're doing this for me um, and for this event and I just cannot thank you enough. Knowing that I wasn't going to be able to attend, I really wanted to do something like this video to say thank you to everybody. I'm actually skipping town for the weekend just to have a little R&R &R before everything starts for April 15th. So with that, I want to say thank you and I cannot say how much appreciation I have for everybody out there that has done something for me, whether it's to the One Fund for all of us or to me specifically. It's just an amazing situation and there's so much gratitude that it's, it's hard to express. And all I can really do is say thank you. So with that, I appreciate it. Um, there's a lot of expenses that I'm going to have to endure over the course of my life and uh, anything and everything helps. and. It really means so much to me, whether we've been friends forever or family or complete strangers. I just want to say thank you and let you know how much it means to me.